well i will show you how to write in uh, jupiter notebook you call it jupiter or jupiter notebook either you can uh, access it uh, independently or you can go through anaconda in my case i downloaded anaconda and installed anaconda so this is anaconda navigator you click it it will take little time uh, it is often useful to write in jupyter notebook when you are writing uh, codes of many lines in python particularly okay so here it is anaconda navigator okay so there are lots of platforms but i uh, find very uh, uh, very nice uh, this jupyter notebook let me launch it it will be launched in your browser so here it is so i don't need any more like now let me go to uh, this browser my google browser and if you want to uh, write a new uh, uh, open a new uh, shell new new jupyter notebook so go to new python 3 this is on python 3 so here it is you can write so say import math say for example and then run then you can use say math dot sign say to radian and you run run and you can write multiple lines you can actually uh, create uh, shells like that you can you can actually uh, take the say x equal to write 4 and say y equal to 5 etc etc for example uh, so you can if you want to take this uh, shell up then you can go up you want to take this shell down go down go down like this so you can take this shells up and down and in any uh, shell when you uh, when you run it will give you a number okay you can go to kernel you can restart and clear and then you can uh, create again you can run again run again and you can cancel uh, some shell like this so and you and in any shell you can write as many lines as you want so math dot sign say 4 and so on then you want to write print something then you want to say for example run then you want to say import numpy as np then you want to import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt you can run them see uh, as long as it was running it will give you star or and uh, when it is not running it is blank and uh, moment it is uh, it has it is completed see the serial numbers first i run this then i run this then i run this so one two three you can see right so now oh, say you want to create x equal to for example np dot lin space say uh, say 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 zero to uh, uh, something some one to ten and thousand things thousands and then one to write y equal to x square and then plt dot plot x versus y and you want to run this shell you run and this uh, uh, graph is here itself with this uh, with this uh, with this along this shells okay so these are called inlines but if you want to plot this graph outside this uh, page for example then you may also uh, uh, write you can also write percentage mat plot lib now you run this you see what happens run this and it will show you that uh, it won't show the graph here it is saying saying that using matplotlib backend that means the graph is 
created at the back here is this so graph is now this graph is separate so you can uh, manipulate the graph as you want okay let me go back here let me go back here okay so here uh, uh, this is the uh, usefulness of uh, writing codes in uh, this thing in 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 jupyter notebook and uh, next uh, you can uh, create lots of other things for example you can uh, decorate these things in very many other ways for example the most uh, interesting thing is that let me create one shell here go take is up and suppose you want to write something some text so then you have to give some uh, give this uh, hash symbol and you write say uh, say for example this is a test page for example page okay so you want to uh, uh, display this go to code markdown and then you run so this is a test page so you can manipulate this page by putting more hash symbols run it this is smaller then you give another hash remember you give a space here right then it is this then give uh, then uh, then 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 give uh, another slash here hash here and you run this so this is this so this way you can write uh, text uh, on the uh, in any shell so this cell is a text cell this is not this will not be executed this is markdown okay go here and check lots of other things and each of the other shells you can run for example i want to run it again i run it again i want to run it again i want to run it again okay so lots of uh, th these things are there lots of these possibilities i want to say for example uh, uh, delete this then go to here and delete this page okay i want to take this up i want i can take this up so these things you can do you can do even more uh, some other things for example you let me create another shell here let me take this up so i can write uh, all these greek symbols suffix superfix everything that i write in latex okay so let me write say uh, how do i write alpha slash alpha right okay and uh, mm, and i have to put this symbol out here this symbol dollar symbol out here okay so let me run it oh 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 oh, oh. Uh, yeah yeah i think i think it is it is this i think it is this no 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 alpha oh i'm sorry 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 so this is you have to go to this code and mark down because this is a text tag basically so you run it you get alpha now uh, you you can write anything for example within dollar you write beta beta you write uh, say for example uh, uh, this uh, say x under uh, this n suffix n then you you write say mm, uh, say 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 uh, beta uh, to the power say uh, say d or something something now you run this it is it is in this markdown situation right so you run this so you write you can write all these uh, greek symbols on this suffix superfix all these mathematical uh, symbols that's very nice that means you can create a full fledged text uh, or or presentation out of it uh, as if you can write a book out of it so at the same time you can uh, write python codes you can write text messages you can uh, uh, have the you can have this uh, graph also here here i put this percentage matplotlib that's why the graph uh, is plotted outside one more interesting thing let me go to this uh, page uh, let me uh, go to this previously prepared page you see uh, wait you see the 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 uh, this uh, writing is in the color code okay so let me sh show you this yeah so you see you you can uh, uh, use 
this HTML uh, fonts, HTML language. So you see it is, uh, 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 is within this, these things, uh, bracket, font, then color, color is green, and then I write the uh, word image, and then again font, and I, I, I close this, right? I close this. So it is between this opening font and closing font, right? Slash font. That's how, it, that's how uh, we write in HTML. Then again, I write font uh, color equal to say magenta, and then uh, and I write the word processing, and, and the I close this font, okay? And I write this as a uh, text, so I uh, put a hash symbol, hash symbol, one hash symbol is the biggest one, two hash symbol is the smaller one. And I, uh, again, at the, uh, in this line, for each letter, A, then B, then H, my name, right, or V, JIT, right, so etc, etc. So I use uh, these uh, colors, I can create, uh, I can change font size, color size, all these things I can, uh, color symbols and font size, etc, etc. Everything I write in, uh, in in HTML, so I can use HTML language here also. So that's very nice. So you see, I changed the color of each of the fonts, uh, each of the letters, and uh, this is how it can be done. So let me go back here again. Let me go back here again. Now uh, the last thing is, you want to save this page. Suppose you are demonstrating or you are writing something, some code along with some text and you want to uh, save this in PDF format so that you can print it. Uh, so best thing is uh, what I uh, see is that you go to file. You can actually save this as some, uh, some name, say some testing for example. Okay. So if you write this, so see the the file is this file is testing so it's auto saved right so when you when you when you uh, go out when you go out you go to this uh, home you go to the home and you can find out this testing here right testing 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 uh, yes this is newly created and see it is running okay and it will be a ipynb file extension is ipynb that means uh, mm, interactive python notebook okay so ipnynb uh, okay uh, so basically uh, um, if you click this it will be opened again now you want to uh, save this file you, you can actually uh, mm, give this file as ipynb file to someone it is here saved in this directory but you want to create a pdf file out of it the best thing is uh, go to file then uh, download as html so the html file is downloaded you go to here it's download it's uh, testing this you now open this uh, open this open this file open this file so this is the uh, Mm, this is the uh, HTML file that means uh, this save that HTML uh, so now you want to print this go to print and then here you save as PDF here you see save as PDF simply you save as PDF and so it is uh, saved here done so you go go here let me go here and check downloads so here it is testing this pdf uh, so name of this file is testing and see the pdf file is now open okay so uh, this is it thank you